So today we are going to discuss the topic of approach, method and technique. Approach, method and technique. So we shall see what is an approach. So what is an approach? The answer is the act of getting close to. Approach means the act of getting close to a way, path or road also we can say. In language teaching, approach is a set of assumptions dealing with the nature of language teaching and learning. So, what is the meaning of this sentence here? Approach is a set of assumptions. Assumptions means imaginations. So, some set of imaginations which are dealing with what nature of language teaching. So, what is the meaning of nature of language? We know the meaning of nature of language. So, example if you take uh, English language. So, English language it has its own nature. What is that nature? Like a grammar or vocabulary or some of a rules, set of rules. So, this all comes under nature of language. So, teaching of nature of language and the learning and learning by the learner. So, this all comes under approach. It describes the nature of language and language learning. Here, the teacher is teaching the nature of language to the student and the language learning, the practices teach to the students is called as a language learning. So, approach establishes a relation between theory and practice of language teaching. So, this is also very very important point. Relation between what theory? So, we know the meaning of theory. If you take the textbook. So, in textbook, some text will be written there. So, this text is nothing but theory. Textbook contains of some written material, written matter. So, that matter is theory. And putting into the practice of this. Suppose it is an English textbook and this content, uh, context or content is called as a theory. And this text is putting into the practice of language. It will have the relation between theory and the practice of language teaching is called as a approach. And this term first used by whom? Edward Anthony in 1965. This term was firstly used by Edward Anthony in 1965. And coming to the approach. Approach uh, any teaching. So, in approach, any teaching that happens in the society reflects the practices and principles in the society and also reflects the knowledge and the beliefs of the society holds. So, this is also the most important thing here. So, what he is trying to say here, suppose you take the English language. So, you are teaching the English language to the students. So, how it reflects? So, whatever the examples or whatever the method you are using, so that all the things, the knowledge which you are using, it will be reflected on what? Reflected on the practices and principles which our society is holding. Suppose we are living in India. So, in India, we have some customs and cultures. If we take the examples also, so based on Indian customs and Culture only we will try to teach to the students. You take the example of USA. USA students they will have the more liberty even the school in the classroom to the teachers also. But that kind of culture we never find in Indian tradition or Indian country. So, if, it, if they try to scold to the teachers, definitely that person or student will be removed from the class. Why? Because Indian mentality is what? So respecting the student, respecting the teacher, respecting the guru is our custom. So, this is one example and based on that you can apply many examples. So, that is what he is trying to say here. An approach captures such principles in axiomatic way. Axiomatic means unquestionable. So, approach captures principles in an axiomatic way means unquestionable way. Describing the nature of the subject. Even every subject, like example, we discussed that English language have some components. The same way, every subject will have some components, and that is called as a nature of the subject. And how it could how it could be taught to the student is called as a approach. In simple terms, it tells us why and what form of English needs to be taught. If you are taking the example of any subject, why that subject to be taught to the students, and what form should be taught to the students is a describing, described by what? Approach. So, approach describes why it should be taught and in what form it should be taught to the students at given point of your time. 
A given point of time means based on his grade. Example, you take first class student. First class students will be given some context or a text by given point of time. He can be not given the 10th class syllabus. When the student is at the age of 10th class, so he will be given the same syllabus of 10th class only. He will be not given the degree or graduation or post graduation syllabus. An approach is a theory about language learning. Yes, we just now we discussed approach is a theory about language learning or even philosophy how people learn in general philosophy of how pe people learn in general just now we discussed what is that approach reflects our indian customs or indian practices and principles and we have our own philosophy how to teach to the students and how the learner will be learned so based on that principles only approach will be taught and uh, they can be psychologically focused even they can be learners can be psychologically focused such as uh, behaviorism and cognitivism so these methods can be followed in approach and they can also be based on older philosophies they can follow older philosophies also such as idealism and realism also can be followed approaches are fuzzy and hard to define it's very difficult and hard to define because they are broad in nature approach is a Broad in nature, an example of an approach that leads to a method would be the philosophy of scholasticism. Scholasticism means nothing but scholarism and faculty of psychology and even perennialism. Perennialism means eternal, which remains for a long time, permanent, is called as a perennialism. And coming to the method, what is method? Method is way of doing something. In which way you are doing? Suppose just now we discussed approach is what? It's a theory. And that theory is what uh, we are, uh, that theory or the text is teaching to the students. In which method you will use? In which way you will do to the students? In which way you will teach to the students is called as a method. Method is an overall plan of the, overall plan for the orderly presentation of language material. Yes, you take the example of overall plan. What is overall plan? We have already language. We have already language in the language we have one component which component vocabulary we have so teaching of nature of subject is approach and this vocabulary how do you teach is method example you will start with the one letter word and then you will go to the two letter words and three letter words so this is called as a orderly presentation this is called as a orderly presentation of language material so you are following what order so this order is one method from known to unknown or simple to complex so this method is so this order is called as a method and no part of which contradicts and all of which is based upon the selected approach and this theory put into practice practice yes sir just now we discussed what is that the theory is putting into the practice is called a method an approach may have several methods approach can have the several methods that subscribe to the philosophy it is an overall plan using which a language can be taught systematically yes overall plan method is what overall plan and it can have a system and it can be taught to the students systematically and it helps the teacher understand the ways in which he or she can work systematically this method helps the teacher in which way he has to teach to the students example while teaching grammar whether to give the examples first and then the rules or vice versa, are providing meanings of the words in second language using mother tongue, etc. So these are all. So teacher will get the clarity first. He will have the one order whether to give examples first or rules first or teaching the vocabulary into the directly in, in a target language or mother tongue. This provides a set of rules or establish a procedure to follow in the course of teaching. So here method provides a set of rules and uh, they establish one procedure to follow a method is an application of an approach so it's this is also a very very important point what is method it is an application of an approach in the context of language teaching an example of method is a grammar translation method we know the grammar translation method so vocab here vocabulary word is a unit of uh, method unit of this method and that words or vocabularies are taught into the mother tongue taught in mother tongue so this is method is called as a grammar translation method. So based on grammar translation method, teacher what he understands, he get one order. What is that? 
first he has to collect all the vocabulary from the textbook and that vocabulary will be uh, taught to the students in their mother tongue so this order is method and this method employs the memorization of various grammar grammar rules and the translation of second language material to the students native language and students were able to develop their intellectual capacity to understand the new language through deductive process of acquiring the rules of the language so these two points are related to grammar translation method and coming to the deductive what is we know the deductive method deductive means what rules first in a grammar translation rules first and then examples next first what will be taught rules and then examples next if you come to the inductive method examples first then rules next and coming to the technique so second third one is technique technique means a technical or mechanical skills a technique on the other hand is a strategy the teacher uses in the classroom to put across his teaching yes technique is one kind of strategy in one period example you went to the, your main aim is to teach to the students english language and then what you did you have taken the grammar translation method and uh, in the grammar translation method what you are doing here you have selected vocabulary topic and uh, you are going to the class now so then today you will have the one strategy first period you are going so you will have the strategy what uh, so you will collect all the one letter words or two letter words we will take the example of two letter words you will collect all the two letter words so teaching in one period all the two letter words is called one strategy so which method you follow that is depends on you you can follow the role play or you can follow the conversation or you can follow uh, what is that action method right uh, so pictures uh, describing the pictures so that depends on you so that is called as a strategy example using the blackboard reading a lesson explaining a concept illustrating a point so these are all comes under technique and coming to that these three terms are hierarchical but often the terms approach and method are used interchangeably so this is also very very important point approach and method sometimes used as a interchangeably in english language a technique is a single activity that come from a procedure yes just now we discussed that technique is what single activity in single one period whatever the strategy or activity you are using so that is called one uh, that is called as a technique it comes from the procedure any one of the steps of the procedure list above qualifies as a technique naturally various methods employs various techniques and coming to here table we have given here example to understand easily so here first we are discussing about the definition of approach what is the definition of approach theory of how language is learned theory of how language is learned so the method definition is what systematic plan based on approach so here how the english language is learned example how the english language is learned and here systematic plan as now we discussed firstly vocabulary two letter words three letter words four letter words here we will have the systematic plan and technique specific classroom activity like a role play today our first period will use the role play and in the second period we will follow the action uh, action method and third one is third period is play way method so this is specific classroom activity first period one plan second period one plan third period one plan and coming to the levels what are the levels here in approach conceptual and theoretical approach conceptual and theoretical levels we will follow coming to the method is procedural organized we will have the one procedure and we will keep it organized means in orderly and coming to the technique is what operational means which is operated easily or specific specific means one topic one activity so the, that way we will follow examples communicative approach here for teaching the english language we are using communicative approach so in this what we are using direct method to improve the communication to to have the communication what we need direct method we are following means target language only we use in a direct method so here what is the direct method here sentence is the unit of direct method and in this what the what technique is using role play the two students will be standing in the classroom or teacher and student also can have the role play and the picture description also can be used in this uh, examples and focus what should be focus in approach why and what should be taught in approach what should be the focus here means english language why it should be taught to the student 
and what should be taught to the student if you are teaching english language why we should teach to them and uh, what should uh, means english language is a vast means we have a vast uh, literature in this language so what should be taught to the students so that will should be decided first and coming to the method in method what they have to focus how to teach based on approach so what topic you have taken and how to, you should approach to the students and which method you have to use so that should be focused here and coming to the technique what activity to use in class so which activity you have to use related to the topic so which is suitable related to the topic is very very important point this is about the table of approach method and technique thank you for watching this video and whoever not subscribed this channel i request you to subscribe the channel thank you thank you all once again